So you might be asking yourself, how do we keep water out of our house without using sandbags? I think I figured out a great way to do it. Let's test this and see what happens. Well, I kind of can, but I just can't. It doesn't have to be pretty. You just got to seal that. All right, the second roll of the stuff I bought was clear. Pink. <laughs> stuck to itself and you cannot get this stuff apart. It is so damn A little bit of a mistake because I put, I got more on the door than I did on the concrete. The second roll of the stuff I bought was clear. All right, so here's what I did. I bought one eight inch by five foot roll and two four inch by five foot rolls. Now the rolls only come in five feet length, so you make, make sure you get enough. But this, this is the white four inch Okay, and then I use some clear that went up about six inches. Now, the thing is, is that I like the white better. It seemed to be easier to work with. I don't know why. But I'm telling you, this stuff is so sticky. Do not let it stick to itself. Or whatever you put it on, it's done. It's stuck. I don't even know how I'm going to get it off, to be honest with you, because um, it's that sticky. So, anyway, stay tuned. Let's see what happens when we push this water up against the door. Because we didn't get anything from the door in, thank God. But, um, yeah, I didn't even lose power. But um, this could be a great alternative to uh, using sandbags to keep water out of your house. I'm ready whenever you are. Oh my gosh. It totally worked. It totally worked, Ed Beck. Yeah, it came over the top. Did it work? Yes. It came over the top. We might have to do it again. Oh, it didn't work. No, it did. It came over the top. Uh. All right, this was a really cool experiment and something I've been thinking about doing since Irma when we, it flooded in our playroom only about an inch or two, but um, uh, that's why I only went up the door here about six inches, but you can kind of see that it did fail a little bit. Now, the water did hit the door with pretty good force, but there'd be a lot of force if there was, you know, five, six inches of water outside, but you can see where it kind of squeezes through some of the, the, the wrinkles in the tape. Here in this uh, clip, you can see where the tape bulges out a little bit from the pressure of the water. Um, to the right there, you can see some water, the dark, uh, dirty water kind of squeezing through the little wrinkles. Um, and then in the next clip, you can see them real, real uh, prominent, how the, the dark water squirts through the, a little bit of water squirts through the wrinkles. But I think if you uh, squished it down real good against the concrete or against the door, um, that would solve that issue. And also remember, I only used the four inch tape, okay? They, uh, next time I would use the eight inch tape. And here you can see, you know, my son in slow motion dumping the buckets out, but that, that's about 110 gallons of water rushing against the door pretty good. And it went up probably, I don't know, about, about a foot above the window there. Um, and uh, their only water penetration was over the top. Um, and you can watch this back a few times to see it in slow motion to see that it really did work. So, but um, otherwise, this uh, flex tape, the uh, flex seal tape, is pretty amazing, um, and uh, I think it's a great alternative to sandbags. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, give me a holler. Thanks.